Hello everybody, Ultra Mario here, and welcome back to some more Mario Kart Tour. Bruh, 20th on the rankings? How? Oh, it's because I didn't do that thing yet. Probably. Bro, why is my internet so bad today? I'm just gonna freaking disconnect it from Wi-Fi. It doesn't matter. There. Yeah, it's a Wi-Fi. It's weird. Alright. Cat Peach. Maple Tree Way. Not a bad combination. There's no way they're avoiding that banana. Nice. Okay. Damn. Well, you did a good half each. Good job. I don't know if that's the right, uh, track, so... Uh, I was trying to use a damn shell, but it didn't work. Whatever. Coin attack. Go! No! Okay, still got first. Still got first. Let's go. 
Uh, no. Or as far as we know, it's not going offline, but we, we don't really know. I mean, they ended new content for it, but... They never announced an official, you know, closure. So, for now, the game is still up and running. Yo, it's him! It's the man himself, CF, the goaded Yoshi. Just in time for his Mario Kart Tour debut. I love that shortcut, by the way. No, there's also a fun shortcut. I like that the Wiggler boss is still based on Mario Sunshine. It's a nice touch. Right? And it was in this game, so it could have been in Mario Party, but it's sad. Alright. Did good there. Get some token stuff. Go. Go. Okay. Nah. I mean, it looks cool, but nah. Oh, let me. What is he? Oh, no, just a bubble. Lame. You know, I noticed I haven't been using Mies for most of the tour. I should probably fix that, but at the same time, I don't care. It's called Me Tour for a reason, but I mean, I don't really have that many Mies, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is a good me moment here, okay? Sure, why not? Knock yourself out, kid. It's annoying as hell that you can only get tokens through playing as me's in the store, but... Like, whatever, I guess. Mega Mushroom. Play Club is a cool track. Okay, hold on. <laughs> the Mega Mushroom X has a good line of defense, honestly. Like, it's a good shield. Kind of like the heart item.
Not doing too shabby so far. Oh, come on. How did that combo die? You suck. I always think to myself with these things. Well, no matter. Still fun. Are you getting a monkey ball on lunch? Honestly, I might just wait till later. Like, I don't know. For some reason, I'm not... Like, I'm definitely hyped for the monkey game. I'm just not feeling it right now. I don't have to get it at launch anyway. I might just wait for it to go on sale. Because, I don't know. Monkey game, good, but... Huh? Wow, you forgot about monkey ball? Like, bro, you're like the monkey guy. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's because it's a new game in the series, and I'm just like, I don't know how that will work in a post-Banana Blitz world, but, I mean, if it goes back to its prime, then that's, that's good, you know? I do have good faith in it, but... I just, you know, I don't know. It's like freaking Shrek 4. It didn't do good because Shrek 3 existed. In a post-Shrek 3 world, people didn't want to touch Shrek anymore, so... Uh, reasonably, people didn't really go see Shrek 4. Even though it was a good movie. It deserved more, you know, credit, but... Audiences just didn't want Shrek anymore at that point. Check for check for his peak, yeah. Not as good as Shrek 2, but like it's good. And I'm excited for Shrek 5. Just don't know what they're gonna do with it, but like, I mean it's gonna be cool. Yeah, plus the boots is any occasion anyway. And they, if they can make Puss in Boots into a good movie, then freaking, what's stopping them from making pick, Trek 5 the most peak movie of all time? It's gonna do, it'd be huge. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, you still haven't seen Puss in Boots, have you? I forgot if I showed you it or not. I might have. Dang. That's fair. Some people like Shrek 1 more, some people like Shrek 2 more. The classic spiked me. Hold up. Alright. Bruh! Okay, I gotta show you Puss in Boots. Okay, how about this? Next time Magic isn't available and we need to watch a random movie, I'll put on Puss in Boots instead of Dragon Ball. Cause like, I don't know. I didn't need to show you the DB filler. I mean, it was fine, it's just... You know. I think there's more exciting things I can put on. Probably. Oh, gotta do some Goomba hop in here. Or not. It's okay, I got the blue coin. Bruh, 2.9 magnitude. That's crazy. I, I didn't know anything about that. Go, 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 go! Okay.
go. Worth it. Did all that for 1,000 coins. Actually, that probably wasn't that good, but whatever. I don't care. I like coins. Alright, uh... Moo Moo. Eh, sure. Probably could have saved that, but I don't care. Dang, the newer one's a lot better. But... I don't know. Also, I'm excited about tomorrow because I'm going to get 3,000 year door at Nintendo New York. Hopefully. I mean, they're having a special, you know, mod celebration event, but... I mean... I don't know what that entails, but it sounds cool. Yo, good time mushroom there. This track's pretty alright. I like the countryside kind of, like, you know, road trip vibe to this track. Whenever I see a hill and cars driving by a mountain like this, I kind of just think of the freaking... You know, Android Saga and Dragon Ball, honestly. I just think of, you know, the fighting area where... You know, where not Android 18 and Ve Super Saiyan Vegeta did their fight. Because, like, they're, they were just in the middle of some random, like... Road. And then they, like, stopped the truck or something. Yeah, Nintendo New York's awesome. I go there every so often since it's cool. pretty close. Dang. Well, um, I forget. Are you close to... If you're close to San Francisco, they're making a new store. In San Francisco, so that's pretty cool. They finally got a West Coast store. Dang. If I said too much, though, I probably would have been kind of doxy, so I avoided that. Now I think I'll use Baby Luigi. He has a boomerang flower. That's fair. Give him the tickets. Go, 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 go. And by the way, since you've been... Random recommendation. Since you've been playing a, you know, spooky Resident Evil game. If you like The Walking Dead, I would recommend The Walking Dead video game. Because it is pretty cool and you don't really need to know the show to know the game. There's some references, but... Otherwise, you know, it's kind of its own story. I like the game a lot. At least, uh, what I played of Season 1. Because, you know, there's different parts, but... Ah, oh, dang. Yeah, it's pretty cool. 
not like too heavy on the gameplay side, but I like the point and click aspect of it, you know, like navigating, like it, actually, you watched me play the Back to the Future game once, I think, right? It's it's basically like that, but, you know, different. Because a lot of Telltale's games are pretty cookie cutter in terms of their gameplay execution, but like that's not a bad thing necessarily. It's just, if you played one, you know the style of all the their games, basically. In terms of the gameplay. But the story direction, well, yeah, a lot different. Depending on the IP. Yeah, the Back to the Future game's awesome. I gotta, I should play that again sometime. I just, you know, never really found a relevant time to do that again. I was gonna have... You know, Scorp keep joining for those, but he played the game anyway, so... Yeah. It was enough to make Scorp buy the game, at least, so... That's a win to me. Like, it's a good game. I really like the story. And how it, like, follows up the movies. Oh, Dead Rising? Actually, I have played that a bit. It's pretty fun. I like... It's not really horror-based. It's more, like, slocky, you kill zombie kind of fun. But, like, it's... it's fun. You know, beating up a bunch of zombies in a mall, picking up random crap from stores and beating people up with it. It's pretty awesome. Got good vibes, and it's on PlayStation 3, so that's a system you have right now. Just saying, man. It's relevant. Oh, dang, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like Dead Rising. There's also a Wii game, but I don't remember if that game is good or not. I know it uses motion control, so that might be a controversial sub check for some. Uh, screw Funky Kong. He kind of sucks, not gonna lie. I mean, his item, anyway. Uh, let's use Kato. Kato's cool. Also, the puzzle bobbling will commence after this. I just have to set up my controller. Game works perfectly, and there's no problem. The only problem will be if I'm not good at it. Which might be a thing. Never played puzzle bobble. So, let's go with Cat Toad. The good thing is the game only takes an hour to beat, so as long as I'm not messing up too much, it should be good. It cost me, like, arm, an arm and a leg to figure out how to get that game to work, though, so... You know, I gotta play it now. That's fair. I, I will play Azumanga Magical Chop 2 eventually, since, you know, that seems cool. But... I'm not gonna prioritize it, because it's a fan game. Which is in the same style as the uh, Puzzle Bobble game. Just with Magical Drop instead of Puzzle Bobble. Big likes Magical Drop a lot too. Alright. We got them, bo gamers. Hold up. Oh, alright, well, speaking of which, we are done with Mario Kart Tour, so... 
Thank you all so much for watching, and have yourselves a good one. If you like what you saw, feel free to follow, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Links on the sidebar. Post all my Twitch VOD content there, including Tyler Lewis stuff, such as Last Mirror Mario, Sonic the Hedgehog, Pizza Tower, and a whole lot more. So if that sounds cool, feel free to check it out. Anyway, have yourselves a fantastic day, and take care. I'm gonna be playing Azumanga Dyer Puzzle Bubble in a little bit. I just gotta set the controller up, so, yeah. See y'all in a second.